I had to download a sample of my own DNA into the permanent Alchemax genetic files. I'm still waiting for some test results. Permanent files, huh? Great, so a hundred years from now we can clone you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Well, how about I come there and we grab a late dinner afterward, okay, Tiger? Yeah, sure, it's okay. Anything for you, babe. And I love when you call me Tiger. It's like a blast from the past. I keep trying to tell myself that I'm just jealous of Walker Sloan's progress. It was only five years ago that he first showed up at Alchemax talking about harnessing energy from the fourth dimension. Now he won't stop until he's running the place. I know his type. He's thinking beyond Alchemax, aiming towards who knows what. He's the exact type of corporate monster I've sworn to rein in. Especially if he's mucking with time travel. The year 2099 might not be much, but it's all mine. And he's not going to change it. He's been siphoning Alchemax resources into converting the gateway and the old virtual unreality lab into something else. Something dangerous. I've tried talking to him, but he's got no time for Miguel O'Hara. But people make time for Spider-Man. Just use the convenient access to the ventilation system to get inside, and then Walker and I can have a little chat. Peter Parker's time, and he, he can't fix it, because he's going to be dead. It's an abomination is what it is. Am I the only newspaper man in the city that realizes what a menace that webhead is? Oh, uh, Jonah, um, indoor voice, okay? I'm trying to get Mary Jane on the phone. People lionizing that freak. Next thing you know, there'll be a musical about him with a chorus line of dancing Spider-Man. I'd pay to see that. Oh, Mary Jane, hi. see a show. Uh, MJ, I, I would love to, but I'm working with Dr. Octavius in the genetics lab on a DNA project. I had to download a sample of my own DNA into the permanent Alchemax genetic files. I'm still waiting for some test results. Permanent files, huh? Great, so a hundred years from now we can clone you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Well, how about I come there and we grab a late dinner afterward, okay, Tiger? Yeah, sure, it's okay. Anything for you, babe. And I love when you call me Tiger. It's like a blast from the past. Come on, Spidey. Hold it together. Just another few seconds. Let's get your strength back.
that chip in me. Control me. I didn't control you, Brock. I freed you. Both know you wanted Spider-Man dead. You should be thanking me. Let me show you just how grateful I am! No! Keep back! What side, you fool! Before... Ah! Okay, I'm here, so how do I access it? Enter my password, Lila, L-Y-L-A. Access denied. Oh, great. You got any other ideas? L let me think. Oh, I wish I could just say open sesame or grant me access or... Request acknowledged. Access granted. That was weird. Okay, let's go over the starter procedures. Slow down, Parker. It's not that simple. Did you fire up the quark enhancers? Activate the tachyon relays? Yes, yes, I did all that. No, you just... Uncouple the Heisenberg compensators. Yes, of course I... Oh, shuck it, no, I didn't. I was right. <laughs> wow. I... Oh, no. What's wrong? It's Mary Jane. She dies. D tonight. Right there at Alchemax. H how do you know... For shock's sake, Parker, what part of don't poke around in the archives was unclear? Fine, I'm a nosy Parker, but now that I've found out, it's... It's what? My job to save her? I've got enough to deal with. You can't mean that. You can't just ignore that she's in danger. Hey, I'm trying to focus on what's important. What's important is not standing by and allowing someone to suffer or die because you do nothing. If you don't get that, then you don't get the first thing about being Spider-Man. You're the one who doesn't get it, Parker. The future depends on- My future is meaningless without her. This is gonna be a huge mistake. I owe you, Miguel. Big time. Shock and right you do. But, well, maybe this'll help even the score for everything the world owes you. Thank you. I mean that. Man, it must have been crazy to think about staying here. If people I love are going to be in danger, then I need to be there to help them. Oh, now what? Now you're talking about someone you love? I think that's my cue, Spider. Holy, it, it is her. I'm in route to the gateway room. Tell me when you're there as well. We have to time this right. You got it, Miguel. Oh. <laughs> You and your counterpart are on a first-name basis now. It's good to know you've bonded. Who are you? I'm the CEO of Alchemax. The real question is, who are you, old friend? Old friend? So this is where you make the big reveal, and I say, holy cow, Norman Osborn, or the Kingpin, Jonah Jameson. Come on, please be Jameson. <sighs> All of them long dead, I fear. Too bad they didn't have access to the anti-aging drug we developed. <laughs> Does wonders for you. And I do mean... You. No. It... it can't be. It can't be, yes. Why do people always say that? Good thing your future counterpart saved us, eh? Otherwise, we couldn't be... this. I... I become the evil mastermind? Oh, don't be melodramatic. With great power comes great responsibility. And great opportunity. And the only way to live up to all that responsibility is to use every opportunity to get all the power. I learned that the day I lost everyone I loved and didn't have the power to stop it. What do you mean, everyone? You'll find out. Except once I've fixed reality, you actually won't find out. Consider yourself lucky. Peter, it's up and running, but it's not tremendously stable. Where are you? I think, I think I'm in hell. The CEO, it's me. What? That's, that's insane. How can that be? Holy shock! Peter, now, move, move! Let me explain it all to you. Explain it to my rapidly retreating backside! Snap back to normal. 
If none of it happened, how do you and I remember it? I mean, we've got two different sets of memories in our brains. Shouldn't that be making us, I don't know, crazy? <laughs> crazy? We already dress in skin-tight costumes and fight bad guys for free. Okay, crazy-er. You really want a five-hour lecture on temporal paradoxes? Sure, why not? As it turns out, looks like I have all the time in the world. First major theoretical studies were done by Reed Richards, which, since you know personally, is rather ironic. Yeah, that's not really ironic. That's just coincidental. Irony is something completely different. You're correcting my word use now? Is that what it's come to? No harm in being accurate. Okay, fine. Coincidentally, Reed Richards did the first studies, which hypothesized that time is like a vortex. And when major changes occur in the surrounding vortex, anyone who is dead center of the disruption can observe them without being affected, like being in the eye of a storm. He called it the observer effect. It sounds kind of dry. Ooh, how about Armageddon syndrome? How about Armageddon out of here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad puns, totally my thing. <laughs> you don't own puns. They're not your thing. They're a thing. Well, maybe if you would just explain it right. You're from the future. You're supposed to have all these cool time things. Maybe you should just talk faster. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is going to take way longer than five hours. 